Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. <laughs> Today I'm gonna teach you how to do a cat eye for glasses wearing. So, I mean, I love to make my eyes pop when I'm wearing glasses because I love my eyes and I don't want them to suffer when I have to be able to see at the same time. Because your face is like a window to your soul. The soul of your soul. Yep. So if you guys want to learn how to do a cat eye for glasses, then keep watching. All right, let's get started. So let's make sure I definitely can't see. <laughs> so I'm gonna wipe down my face with these towelettes from Target. Uh, they feel really good on a summer's day because um, it's so hot and you know oils build up. So you just want to wipe down your face. Make sure it's nice and clean before you apply any moisturizer or foundation, and just throw that away. <laughs> So now I'm going to use this Aveeno Daily Moisturizer, it has SPF 15. You always want to protect your skin and just put it all over. I use a um, motion that you just sort of want to go from the inner of your face to the outside. And make sure to get your neck because your neck is very sensitive to the sun. Next I'm going to put on my Baby Lips Lip Balm in Cherry Me, it gives a nice tint to my lips. Then I'm going to put on my True Match Concealer. I'm just going to skip over the foundation part because I just want to put on concealer and spot treat it so it looks more natural um, because I'm going to do a heavier eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend it in using my finger. Um, the heat from your body will just help melt it into your skin, makes it look more natural. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and put some bronzer on, give me that sun kiss glow. It's from NYC, um, Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder. I'm going to use my bronzing brush and go ahead and just put it on the parts of your face that uh, would get the sun. So like your cheekbones, your forehead, um, and your nose. I'm going to go ahead and put on my blush from CoverGirl. It gives me that nice rosy look. You just want to put it on the apples of your cheeks and a little on the nose. There we go. Now my eyeshadow, it's a little reflective so you can't really see it. <laughs> it's from Clinique. It is a color palette and I'm making a mess. It is very well loved and yeah, <laughs> very reflective. So there's a camera. Hi. I'm going to use this darker color um, chocolate chip for my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. So you just want to go ahead and get in there. I like more of a wispy eyebrow, a little heavier. Um, I think it looks really nice in contrast with my blonde. Also when you're wearing glasses you want to make sure your eyebrows look great and have a nice boldness that they can stand out above the glasses. Um, it helps frame the face more um, and bring out your facial features. And it also helps if you put your hand next to your head to see your eyebrows. Now I'm just going to apply the same eyeshadow that I did to my eyebrows to my eyelids because I feel like it really ties in your makeup palette. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner in black. It is so difficult to do liquid eyeliner in front of the camera because usually I'm like right up in the mirror trying to make it very precise. So bear with me, it's a little harder. So this side was not a good go. I had to sort of erase it. But this is just me failing epically. Um, it was a little too long of a wing. Um, but, you know, you can always just take it off and redo it. Just wipe off that wing. <laughs> okay, you can see I wiped off the longer end. And I'm going to go ahead and just um, fix it up a little and connect it more. Alright, let's see if I have 
better luck with my left side. Let's see what I'm doing. So this is the reason why I don't get waterproof. It is a little harder to remove if you make a mistake. Um, that's why I like to just do normal um, lasting wear. Uh, instead of waterproof. Um, but yeah, what you want to do is just line your upper lash line and then um, do a little flick out and then just sort of connect them. It, it is a type of artistry. You have to sort of perfect it, but uh, I think that's as good as it's gonna get for now. <laughs> Make sure it's even and yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. All right, now on to the easier and more fun part, the mascara, and it's upside down. Um, I use the Rocket. It gives me um, the volume and length that I really do love. It makes me look like I have false eyelashes on, um, every girl's dream. And um, so you just wanna do like a shake and shimmy, cover all of your lashes, and um, yeah. Now I'm going to use the Soft Coal in White from Rimmel London to line my inner tear duct. It just really opens up your eyes, especially when you're wearing a heavy framed glasses. And there you go. So um, this is a cat eye, not as dramatic and big. Um, but it would look great with glasses and um, yeah because I find that when I do wear glasses it's sort of you know it doesn't bring out my face so you need to sort of bring out your eyes in order to make your face pop with glasses on. Let's go ahead and put them on. My glasses, they're my glasses. All right, so there are my glasses, and there's the makeup. So yeah, let's take a... Looks nice, looks nice. I mean, I also have this pair. But as you can see, they do have a glare on them because they are not glare-free. They put a protective glare on these glasses, so there's no glare. These don't have prescriptions, so they're sort of just normal glasses, but I really love the frame on them. You can sort of see the frame. We have like a cool like 1960s, 1950s, 60s frame. Um, really cool. Let me go ahead and put on my other glasses so I can see y'all. Ah! Um, but yeah, so that is the tutorial on how to do a fun cat eye. Side note, I have been watching American Horror Story, binge watching it, and it is so good. Oh my god. Go watch it if you haven't. I hope you guys liked this week's video. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And check out my other videos, um, like my hair tutorials. Very fun. Bye!